This season, our preview and recap videos are brought to you by Dimers Pro, the go-to research platform for serious college basketball fans. Dimers Pro combines expert sports betting data and predictions with easy to use tools to elevate your game. Whether you're looking for today's best bets, totals, player projections, unique prop insights, or betting trends using a powerful simulation model built over the past 15 years, Dimers Pro has you covered for every college basketball matchup. Plus, their parlay generator is changing the game, making it easy for bettors to generate an instant parlay for today's games at the push of a button. And we have a special offer for Sleepers viewers. You can use promo code SLEEPERS at sign up for 20% off your first month. That's all caps SLEEPERS. And join Dimers Pro today to bring your college basketball experience to the next level. Tennessee Volunteers, fresh off of a win at Louisville, they come back home where they host Montana out of the Big Sky Conference. Dion, many folks don't know this, but you're a you're a Big Sky alum. Shout out to Sacramento State, class of 2015. What do you know about the Montana Grizzlies? I actually watched Montana State, Sac State, circa 2013. Uh, I was in attendance. That was the last Big Sky game I watched. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 11 years later still holding strong on that. Uh, do, you, do you know where the university of montana is what city, city montana do you know which city i don't know any cities in montana <laughs> <laughs> missoula for those keeping track at home a quick uh, profile on montana i mean they <laughs> they like kind of dominated the big sky in the 2010s uh historically have run really efficient offense but fast forward to this season and their lone competition against a, a d1 team against oregon they shot 15 percent from three it hasn't been much better against d2 competition and to beat this tennessee team you got to make threes because they pack it in i think this game's going to get ugly pretty quick but what have you seen out of the vol so far that you ex where you expect them to exploit the grizzlies zakai ziegler still in college uh <laughs> that's what i <laughs> That's my main takeaway from Tennessee. Zakai Ziegler still in college. Uh, feels like he probably shouldn't be. <laughs> he's, he's he's a true senior. Zakai Ziegler. I I get it. He feels old, but he's old. He's not like even a COVID year guy. I mean, get the guy a little bit of respect. He's a true senior. He's a true senior. So we haven't even got into like his three extra years yet. Like right. we still got a whole another. We still got a whole another freshman through sophomore. <laughs> Zakai Ziegler on the way. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't realize i was unfamiliar with his game i don't um, know <laughs> i don't know if this so i was watching their game against louisville and uh greg and carter used to say this about pj hall and ian shefflin on clemson that it just looked like ian shefflin was cosplaying as pj hall i feel the same about Chaz lanier to zakai ziegler where i'm like when did zakai how did zakai ziegler grow like seven inch oh wait that's not that's not Ziggler. That's Chaz Lanier. And Chaz Lanier is six five, but he kind of he like when you're watching them play, they do they do sort of look similar. But I I think this guard tandem, you know, Ziggler had I think eleven turnovers against Louisville. That probably won't happen again. I hope for Tennessee fans' sakes it doesn't. But Lanier's really looked the part. I expect another big outing out of him. Igor Milicic, he's you know hasn't been putting up necessarily big numbers, but. Thought he's held his own in the moments that he he's gotten in. It hasn't looked like he's out of place. Um, just when you're you know keeping tabs on these different mid major transfers, new pieces integrated into Tennessee. And I said this in the recap of Louisville. Jemai Mayshak's one of the guys who stood out to, stood out to me like as uh, just a I would say like a player who's going to uphold that defensive standard. Um, you you lost a lot of pieces of what made this Tennessee defense great over the past three or four years. But Meshack and Ziegler are kind of the glue. And Meshack, I think, is just like the guy who's all over the court and, and puts a stamp on the game on that side of the ball. So with that all being said, I, I think Tennessee should be able to exert its will uh, on the defensive end and probably score a good bit on the, on the other end. I watched Tennessee Louisville much like everybody else. Uh, Lanier is a bucket, like a bucket's bucket. It's kind of crazy. Uh, like you said, cosplay and Zakai Ziegler. He's like kind of cosplaying Dalton Connect, too. It's like <laughs> <laughs> they just supplanted one dude and brought in a transfer to do the same exact thing Dalton did. Um, I think Tennessee's just way better. Like, they, like, everyone tried to make Louisville like that game seem like it was something to watch. It was not. Mm -mm. Like, it was not. Like, Louis like Louisville and Tennessee should not be in the same sentence. Like, it was not close. 
there's nothing about Louisville where I was like, ah, if they clean this up, like they have a shot. It's like, no, like you clean that up, you lose by 30 instead of 40. I don't even know what the score was, to be honest with you. I think the final margin was like 22-ish or something, but it was not as close as the final margin indicated. That It never felt like it was in doubt for Tennessee. Louisville was able to get it to nine for like maybe with 12 minutes left in the second half, and Tennessee immediately ripped off like – I couldn't can't, can't tell you the numbers, but ripped off a, a, a sizable run to slam that door shut. Um, they forced Louisville to take a ton of bad shots, a ton of contested jumpers. And I, I just, I don't really think it's going to be any different against a team of Montana's no. caliber. Um, we can talk score predictions. Our friends uh, over Montana at Dime. Can. What'd you say? I was going to say Montana can't hang same way yeah. Louisville can. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, I don't know if our friends over at Dimers have put up a score projection yet. But make sure to check that out for the listeners and use promo code sleepers to sign up for Dimers Pro. It gives you great analytics and projection models uh, to give you best bets. And uh, I've heard, Dion, I don't know if you've been dabbling, but I've heard Dimers best bets have been quite successful so far for, for those uh, who have been have been tapping in, so to speak. Yeah, uh, I bet the top three every day. So I go best bets, sort by probability. Um, and then like anything over 60%, I'm hammering. Um and- it's actually done really well. Like I have no complaints whatsoever. Like it's, they're fairly blind bets. It's normally the games you would never bet on. Mm-hmm. Like if fairly Dickinson, it, it, it playing like enough James Madison, like it's probably a diamond's best bet. And like, I actually really love that. I think that's what makes it even a bigger sell for like gamblers. It's like, these are the games you would never think to bet. And the ones that you're watching, the ones you're paying attention to are also up there too, but you kind of have a feel for those. You got your own little edge. You got something in your in your own tank. And Dimers is providing you games you would never think about. And I think that's what's so cool about it. It's a super cool service. I love it. I hope I get to use it forever. Mm. Great endorsement. Make sure you check them out with big shout out to Dimers just for uh for helping us keep the lights on, as Greg loves to say. Great uh, great dadism while we're at it. <laughs> But uh, Tim Palm has this spread right now as Tennessee favored by 22. Dion, are you expecting Tennessee to get a, I mean, personally, I think that sounds a little light. I would say I'm expecting Tennessee to win by 25 plus. I I think the Vols, man, how they scored 80 in their first game against Gardner Webb, 77 against Louisville. I think this will be their highest scoring game yet. You know, Lanier's thriving. He's starting to get, he's, finding his role, figuring out where he fits in. Other pieces are contributing as well. I think Tennessee gets to, I'm going to say 85, and I think they hold uh, I think they hold Montana under 60. Yeah, I was going to say, I think like 85, 50-ish, like that type of range, somewhere in the 50s, uh, probably on the lower end of that. Uh, you mentioned like Montana dominated the big sky in the 2010s. Uh, did they have smoke for Dame? I'm sorry? Did they beat Dame Lillard? Did they beat Dame Lillard? Because you know, me, a lot of people don't know, I was front row for Dame against Sac State. I was. Uh, I also was just kind of throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what stuck. When I said <laughs> they dominated the Big Sky, I knew they were good. They made the tournament. Okay, they made the tournament. They won the Big Sky in twenty eighteen and twenty nineteen. That's that. Okay. That's close close enough to dominating. Okay, they made. Yeah. The, they won it in 2012, 2013. Yeah, I stand by. They dominated the twenty tens. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's right. That 2012, 2013, that might have been Dame's senior year, or it was the year after yeah, he left yeah. one of the two. I think that was Dame's senior year. So that's actually, yeah, they had smoke for Dame. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they did. Uh, the, the Lillard was there through, let me see, 2012. So yeah, wasn't able to win because of that juggernaut Montana Grizzlies. Not going to look like a juggernaut. <laughs> Hopefully Tennessee has someone better than Dame Lillard on their <laughs> roster. <laughs> yeah, somebody tells me they will not look like a juggernaut in this game, but we'll be back breaking it down afterwards. This video is brought to you by my bookie, the presenting sponsor of all things Sleepers Media and our favorite sports book on the planet. Cart, why do you love my bookie? Because they make it easy to play your way and get paid. Greg, I'm a simple man at heart, and my bookie makes it very, very easy for me to place all types of bets on all sporting events, player props, whatever you need. My bookie has it. If you ever found yourself having having that little thought bubble above your head, I want to bet like Sleepers Media, look no further. It's with my bookie, and they have a massive, insane deposit bonus right now available. Tell the folks about that, Gregory. Promo code SLEEPERS, link in the description of every video on the channel. With promo code SLEEPERS, as a first-time depositor, you can double your first 
deposit by creating an account with my bookie, entering the promo code. If you put $100 in, you'll end up with $200 in funds. That's very exciting for people that want to win bets just like us. Go to my bookie, use promo code sleepers to take advantage today.